Hello friends, welcome back to the Canada Info Hub channel. My name is Wolo. I live in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and I love to talk about life in Canada, immigrating to Canada, and anything that's gonna be beneficial to anybody that sees my video. So if this is the first time you are seeing my video, I'll request that you subscribe to this channel, click on the notification bell, and anytime I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. I have done several, several videos. I also request that you follow me on the Instagram page. Um, I also upload content on the Instagram page as well. And most times it is even faster to quickly upload those contents on IG before I can create a video on them. So for the Canada Info Hub channel, that's this YouTube channel, has more details. Whereas um, the Instagram page just has one or two information uploaded. So it's good to follow those two social media accounts so yeah, you keep yourself informed of anything concerning immigration to Canada or life in Canada. Um, I'll be sharing an update concerning immigration and that is Ontario. Ontario recently opened the employer job offer um, immigration program. It's a short, it was open for a short time for people to quickly apply, uh, people who, who had valid job offers. People who had valid job offers um, living in Canada and outside Canada they are eligible to apply for a provincial nomination now that particular stream does not even really have any form of restriction so if you're outside canada the best thing for you to do is to search for jobs in ontario if you get a job offer with a labor market impact assessment i know lmia is usually very hard to get i think i need to do a video about um labor market impact assessment and how you can get a job a valid job offer with labor market impact assessment it's going to be a separate video today's video is just um to share this update so that you are aware that there is something like that it is looking like the canadian immigration is trending towards people searching for job opportunities and i have done several videos on this channel where i have shared several um websites where people can search for jobs um depending on the particular stream you're applying for so for the caregiver pilot i've done a video on that on where you can search for a job for the agri pilot i've done a video on that where you can search for jobs for the rural and northern immigration pilot i have done um individual videos for each communities or where you can search for jobs even for the aipp i talked about aipp as well that the demand for aipp is basically nurses I have talked about it so if you are still confused just take your time to go through all the videos i have done you'll be able to find an answer that will be peculiar to your unique situation and um so for if you're trying to apply for a job in ontario please ensure that you get a canadian standard resume i have left the um the website of where you can get the resume on this particular video i will leave it on this video so that you can go to the website yourself and then secondly you should be careful about some kind of jobs in canada not all jobs are um genuine job offers some are fake job offers so be careful about people promising you job offers and promising you work permit package and i keep receiving emails those kind of emails where people are saying i have somebody processing work permit for me and my family in fact i received one today and the person was telling me they want to sell their land so that they can do work permit um package and i'm like you guys please do not fall victim to fraudsters it hasn't got to the point where somebody should be going to sell his or her landed property to apply for work permit that and the person has not even apply to the job him or herself has not even done an interview with the person and the person has not even gotten a job offer yet the person wants to go and sell his or her landed property to apply for a package that does not exist please avoid fraudsters. in all that you're going to do it is better to talk to licensed immigration consultants and recently i have been referring people to licensed immigration consultants because it's a busy period for me if it's something i can answer i would have answered but i don't really have the time i just had to squeeze out this little time to create this video for this week and um until i am free by the end of september i might be uploading videos maybe once a week or twice a week i'm not so sure but please bear with me and try as much as possible to avoid fosters they uh, this channel is basically for you to be able to search for things and do it yourself i show you how you can do it yourself i'll show you the website where you can uh, um, search for jobs and apply for jobs yourself 
you know the ones that you know you cannot do the ones that are complex those ones i can refer you to licensed immigration consultants so avoid dealing with agents please avoid dealing with agents those guys they can spoil your application and you get a, a ban for five years at the end of the day your canadian dream becomes um becomes something else because you got yourself involved with an agent that is not even licensed that does not know what it takes to get um jobs genuine jobs and work permits so um that's by the way i am actually talking too much concerning this pilot so the pilot has opened and closed it was just opened for a period for people who had valid job offers so that's why i'm encouraging you people on this channel make efforts in searching for genuine job offers there are genuine job offers and there are certain jobs you can get from outside canada tech jobs technology jobs yes you can get them from outside canada um, personal support worker jobs you can get them from outside canada agricultural jobs you can get them from outside canada you can apply for jobs and get them from outside canada um caregiving yes caregiving is also complex but you can get them from outside canada if you apply from outside canada these four categories or these four industries it's easy will i say easy well depending on how consistent you are in searching for these kind of jobs if you're consistent in searching for these kind of jobs the it industry the health care that's nurses or personal support workers um child caregivers um agricultural industry these four industries you can get jobs from outside canada but any other one maybe like administration customer service it's very difficult to get those jobs from outside canada so you shouldn't bother yourself applying for those kind of jobs if you're applying for an agricultural job there is every tendency you get a job if you're applying for an it job if you're a tech person you are you you have the qualifications and experience there's every likelihood you get a job from outside canada if you are applying for a child caregiver it's difficult but yes it's still possible people are getting job offers from outside canada and then if you are a nurse applying for a personal support worker opportunity you can get those jobs from outside canada there is also another industry that i know you can get jobs from and um, that's uh, more like construction hospitality construction and hospitality industry the hospitality industry prior to covid 19 like housekeepers um people who clean hotel rooms and all that there are lots of people that got such jobs from outside canada but because of covid 19 it has affected a lot of businesses most especially the hospitality industry it's very difficult to get those kind of jobs from outside canada so cut the hospitality industry out these other four industries you can get jobs from outside canada if you are committed to searching for jobs in these areas remember it has to be in these areas anything other than that, these areas you're just wasting your time um if you are an accountant looking for an accounting job in canada it's a waste of time don't bother because um even if you get the job it's very difficult to prove to the visa officers that you're actually coming for some except you are maybe a senior executive person who has um who's working in an organization that has a branch in canada and they need your expertise in canada it's under that circumstances that you can actually come to canada and work but in anything other than that you searching for such jobs from outside canada it's very difficult to land such jobs from outside canada so um that's the information i want to share today and i'll request that you please bear with me i will not be uploading videos um and responding to comments as i am supposed to that's because i have something lined up for me and i am hoping to complete uh, my project as soon as possible once i complete that project i'll be free to upload all the videos i want to upload and share content and respond to your emails hopefully um as soon as i am done with what is actually taking my time so i hope you understand <laughs> it's not my making but i just have to do certain things that are necessary for my future of course you know now everybody is trying to look for a way to better himself or herself while in canada and um i just have to really create time to focus on those things thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye bye